Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to a creator called Wade Productions, formerly known as Garrett Wade. And I believe we've watched one of their videos in the past, although it's escaping me now which one that was. The reason we are watching this channel today is because I believe Wade Productions is severely underrated and deserves a lot more attention, especially the FNAF found footage stuff. Now, I know I've been doing my last two videos have been FNAF, but you know what? There's a lot of good stuff out there and stuff that I in the past, like this was two years ago now, that I'm only just finding now. We will be returning to other analog horrors soon. It's just I'm trying to find other videos to bunch together at the moment. And uh, this just looked really, really good. So guys, be sure to go subscribe to Wade Productions. Their link will be down below. Check out the videos for yourself. I've picked out four videos today for us to watch, but there's plenty of videos here for you to watch. FNAF and non-FNAF. And if you're a fan of VFX, and just um, filmmaking in general, Wade Productions is the channel to go to. Before we start the actual video, guys, if you enjoy what you see here today, consider liking the video and subscribing because liking the video goes a long way for me. I'm seeing a lot of you are actually watching the videos but not liking, and it looks like I'm just inflating my numbers. It's kind of embarrassing, actually, guys. You make me look like a fool in front of all the YouTube wizards. But no, seriously, any help is appreciated. It's just a simple like, comment, subscribe if you wish. Uh, this is the majority of my content, FNAF, analog horror, the occasional stupid stuff here and there. Any help is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys. We're gonna move on now to the first video. Knock, knock, FNAF VHS. Okay, so the description reads as follows. You're lying. We're partners, William. Why are you keeping secrets from me? There's three doors near 4C that none of my keys go to. What the fuck is in there? I'm guessing that's Henry talking to William there. By the way, I believe these are in some kind of order. I know that generator repair and under construction definitely follow each other, uh, but this is the earliest one, I think 1984. And then the, the, the last one that we're gonna be watching is just a fun little backroom slash FNAF collaboration. So let's just jump straight into this. April 14th, 1984. Freddy Fad Center. Concept, art and design by William Afton. There we are, look, there's Freddy. Shooting the shit there. Yeah, our projections this year seem to be going up. So if we just continue the Fr Freddy Fazbear franchise, who knows where this company will go? I can see a pizza plex, a super pizza plex on the horizon. We just need to keep our investors happy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, well, stop it right. That, that joke went on for way too long. <laughs> Freddy Faz Center, a way to bring families together in a new and innovative way our restaurants never could. CEO. Family fun for kids and grown-ups alike. CEO Henry Emily. Featuring over four new themed restaurants, interactive puzzles for kids and adults, Freddy's Pool House, three different themed areas with unique and never before seen animatronics, many more surprises to find. Brilliant stuff, let's go baby. Faz Center, that sounds amazing. Construction begins May 1984. This looks like a crime scene, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. Oh, here we go. There, there's so many underrated. I'm not gonna yap, but I'm just saying there's so many underrated channels, man. Um, like VFX channels, filmmaking channels. I just go under the radar and it's, it is my job as a reactor to try and bring more attention to these people. I mean, look at this. Look how cool this looks. It's very quiet though. Okay, he's trying to get in somewhere. Door's locked. I'm guessing this is maybe Henry. Because it was Henry in the description saying, my keys don't unlock these doors. What's going on? And is, I'm guessing this is part of the fad center, but it looks decrepit. It almost looks... Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Oh, I like that shot. That's nice. That's tasty, that.
Someone's definitely wanting to get out of there. Oh, okay. Well, well, if it just opened like that, then what? Okay, that looked like... What does that say there? You will what? Whoa, what the hell, man? What's freaking Darth Vader doing here? Oh, no, never mind. He's wearing like a freaking one of those... What are they called hats? Festival hats. I forgot what they're called. Look how cool this is. Look at Chica. Bonnie is on meth, as usual. Hey, what was that? Boys only. I heard a voice coming from my workshop. I know it's impossible, but it sounded like my little boy. He can't be alive. I buried him. To my workshop. Is that William talking or Henry talking there? I love that, like, stuff like this, though. Like, how is this, like, so... Just flying under the radar? Like, the soundtrack, the... the like, look at these models. Look, Chica is an actual, like, meffed-up chicken right there. I mean, they all kind of look a little bit weird. Look at all of these. They look fantastic. And I'm guessing these were all modelled by Wade here. So, yeah, I'm a bit confused on the ending there because it seems like this first part is maybe Henry talking. This last part is, like, his boy underneath the workshop. Is that William, like, going crazy, maybe? Oh, this is a shame because that was their last uploaded video. So it's like maybe they had a story in mind, but they decided to give up on it. And that's a shame when that happens, man, because this is genuine talent right here. Let's move on to the next video. Generator repair. FNAF VHS. In Generator Repair, FNAF VHS fan film, you follow a security guard working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in late 1992. After having to restart the generator in order to have power, the guard starts discovering the secrets that lie underneath the establishment. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So this is the first part of two videos, I think. Um, we'll see. Okay, restart generator. Okay, so the power's gone out. <laughs> This is decrep- like, why is this place even alive? Around. In the FNAF movie, it was like, they're basically saying he's sentimental and he wants to keep it around. But I think it just means he wants to use that place as a killing ground, potentially. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. The generator room's in a basement. Oh, my God. What is this? The oldest view? How far down does this place go? and you got it everything's perfect with this and it's it's just such a shame how like talent like this can go under the radar okay here we go what's that saying this must be it yeah, poe like from teletubbies my god yeah. this place needs cleaning up generator off Alright, that should do it. Yeah, you wouldn't catch me working here. I'm telling you that now. It, he's really captured that kind of abandoned feel really well here. Hello? It's probably a rat, mate. Somebody down here? It's not your job. Well, it actually is, actually. Never mind. The restaurant closed three hours ago. You're not supposed to be here. Whoa, the restaurant closed three hours ago? Bro, this place is still open? My god. The lack of respect here is ridiculous. There's someone in that little ice machine. Oh, what the? What is that? Oh, it's What's like that? a handle. Interesting. I mean, that's not ominous. Oh, this is cool, look. Okay, this looks a little bit dodgy. What's he doing? 
like he just passed a kidney stone. Oh! There's always a crank, isn't there? In Resident Evil games, there was always a crank. You gotta like carry it around with you and it just like takes up loads of space. And then you got loads of items and you're like, oh my God, okay, I need to put this away. Then you put it away. Then you run all the way down to like this place which is like, oh, you need the crank again. And you gotta run all the way back, pick up the crank. It's annoying. Item management for me was terrible. But anyway, okay, so obviously they've opened up like a... What? What the hell is that? I don't know, man. If that's the only entrance to this place, then... How do they fit all the stuff down there? There's gotta be another entrance. Whoa. This is just the secret entrance. What's that sound? Hello? Anybody there? Oh my goodness, okay. Foxy. Oh, shit. oh, oh yeah, shit. get it. Whoa! See, that's very realistic in terms of what would actually happen there. Did he fall down the stairs? Oh my god. Broken every bone in his body. What, so Foxy's just gone now? Where am I now? You're in hell. Oh, okay. So it's going into the what sister location kind of Must be some parts area. and service room. Well, what's going on there? Whoa. Yikes. Good FNAF 2 God. Chica. What the? I love people's kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? People's ideas there's a, another word for this of like the fnaf universe and how things are and where things are like all of this was underneath a pizzeria which is pretty interesting how far does this go i don't know man what's down there Whoa. What the hell? Toy Bonnie. What is this then? What is this like a... Is it... Oh, well, that would be creepy as hell. That's like an old advert for Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. <laughs> With over 60 electronic games, pizza make fresh every day. With over 60 electronic games, pizza. Oh, is that like an old Chuck E. Cheese ad? Make fresh every day. And a... Interesting, okay. What is this place? It's a bit strange, actually. How does this place work? Is that a penis? That's a penis. That's a penis. So other people have been here, look. They're just like the goofing around. They We've got like graffiti everywhere. Reminds me of a power Wait, drill massacre. But my flashlight's not working. Oh, of course. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh shit. Um. Don't go back through there. Is anyone there? Oh my god! <laughs> Chica was. Oh my goodness! She was right on your ass. She was smelling what you had for dinner. How did you not hear that? That's crazy. Welcome home. Welcome home. Home. I love how William actually had that. He had to have that bit made. Like, he had a voiceover and everything. Like, yeah, so I've got an elevator that goes up to my house. Can you just say, welcome home, please? Okay, that is definitely the, the FNAF 4 house, right? Ooh! I'm about to make a name for myself. You know how long I waited for this. <laughs> so the next video directly follows what 
happens after this video. Let's get into it. Under construction, FNAF VHS. The description reads as follows. In under construction FNAF VHS fan film, you follow the events that take place directly after generator repair. You watch as he explores something deep below ground that wasn't ever meant to see the light of day. If anyone goes to visit William's house, it's like, um, what's that over there, William? That like thing that looks like an elevator. Unless it's like dressed up as like a porta potty that says out of order on it, that would make more sense. But it's not much of a secret, is it? Okay, here we go. Is that a house? I can't believe I missed out on the, these videos two years ago. This is insane. Where am I? Yeah, that does not look. Yeah. Why would somebody build an elevator in their front yard? Hey! What are you doing here? Oh, Who is that? Not good. Why aren't you answering me? <laughs> uh oh. Back down, go back down. No, 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 please! <laughs> please! No! Okay. So, was that William? Yeah, is it? He, he holds Would a good point. Please? He, like, literally, like. If you think about it, it's like a security breach, right? In security breach, there's a whole ass freaking restaurant underneath the pizza plex. So William's built like a whole ass bunker, like freaking Joseph Fritzel, but less demented. Well, kind of on the same level, actually. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. There's different levels there. And like what no one kind of asked about this like what are you doing there William there's no way he kept this under wraps unless he did like a HH H. Holmes or whatever his name was and just killed anyone who knew about the blueprints so that no one knew about the extent anyway I'll shut up okay hello Here we go. Where does it lead? What's in the darkness? I'll start running, mate, because whoever was up there is definitely going to be wanting to come back down here to get you. But he did say please, as if he was begging him not to go down there, so maybe he doesn't want to go down there. Why is it so dark? Yeah, you need another flashlight. This is so well made. It's very immersive. Welcome to the party. Whoa. My goodness, what was he building down here? Must be a new attraction they're releasing. A new attraction? What under the freaking earth? Why? It makes no sense. I mean, is that there are some places that are oh, underground, this huge. but this is so well out the way. Freddy Very Faz Center. Center. Okay, so this follows the whole knock knock thing. So I did do it in a correct order. Age is ten plus. Welcome to the party. This reminds me of a... Uh, remember... What was that one called? Uh, Liminal Land? It reminds me of that. Gift shop and lounge area. Freddy Faz Center main lobby. Hey, go to the gift shop. I want to see what, what's there. Then again... Uh, Freddy Faz Center does sound cool. cool. They didn't even finish construction. I guess it's still under construction. No, this is... That was like nearly 10 years ago, mate. Weird. I haven't heard anything about this place. Yeah, it's a freaking murder den, that's why. It's a murder center. Faz center. More like... Yeah, shut up, Brian. It's 
Circus Baby's Pizza World. Okay, Cheese's Fridge. That sounds fun. I do want to go see Baby, though. Circus Baby's Pizza World? Yeah, man, let's go there. Now, I'm Does guessing that lights not work in this place. Oh, it's the Laura. Yeah. This is, if you think about it, guys, it's kind of like a tomb for his family, right? Because William's family basically all died, oh including himself. But he was like kind of left to live and suffer because he was a very bad man. So you got Ballora that represents the mum. Baby, his daughter. Um, and I'm guessing this was all scrapped because of his daughter yeah, dying. Circus babies. They must be trying to keep it a secret. Why would they keep it a secret? Where is that glass coming from? Bro, how tall is this man? Those barricades usually come up to you like your like your mid chest. This guy must be like five foot two. Okay. You could could you not just jump over it? Making a lot of noise, man. Then again, oh. jumping over it would make a lot of noise as well. Sound like he threw his hips out. There we go. It's a fun like time, a Freddy. Sign, Freddy. Yeah. Foxy. Oh, wow. God, how much space is this? Seems like a fire hazard. Like the only entrance being an elevator. There's got to be another entrance somewhere. But that, yeah, because it makes no sense how they got all this in there through like an elevator. There's got to be another facility or warehouse somewhere where there's an entrance. Just thinking logically here, guys. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Got a circus leader, what lion, elephant. Here? Looks like it's covered in blood. Oh, okay. You shouldn't follow the blood. Just turn around and go back. So someone died on the stage. Was waiting. Or was like, something happened and their body was dragged off here. Oh my god, that is a lot of blood. This person definitely isn't alive. It's like max pain when you go into like nightmare mode. And like there's trails of blood and you hear a baby crying. That game was haunting. This is a lot of space, man. I can't get over this. How much was rent on this place? How rich is William Afton? What even is that? An arcade. Seems like a, just a waste of room there. charge rent for this place. You could, like, live down here. Oh, man. The smell's got to be horrendous down here. Employees only. Here goes nothing. Here we go, into sister location. It's very interesting. So is this where baby is? Yeah, I think this is baby's room, right? This must be a control room. Hmm. God, that thing's creepy. Yeah, a little bit. What's this? 
What's the power like for this place? The bill must be inside. I'm just worried about, like, the bills of places. Never mind the scariness. That scares me. Have a look. Oof. Oh, the tension's real. Oh, oh dear God. We got a glimpse of her. Man. Gave her a controlled what shock. What the hell am I doing here? Yeah, I don't know, mate. There you must be another elevator that can take me back. The eyes, the mate. Did you not see those? Oh, shit. What's that? It's almost 3.30. I gotta get back to that restaurant. I'm not there in the morning. The boss is gonna kill me. Um, probably yes. I mean, literally. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell is that thing? Freaking Wendy's. Wendy's Burgers. Is it Wendy's? It's just Wendy's, right? It's not Wendy's Burgers. Look at that eye. It's like dangling almost. Or just... Yeah, it's time to get out of there, buddy. I don't even know what was, like, in there. What if, like, this whole place closed down? Because cause obviously we know in this location, the reason, I guess work was stopped maybe was that the animatronic that the animatronics that were being used to kill other kids ended up killing William's daughter and maybe that's what the blood is there or it could be another person I don't know why he wouldn't clean that up oh good lord Ooh, look at her. The fact that it's like a little, like a little girl as well, like a little, like a baby almost. Quite literally baby. Circus baby. She's just having fun, man. She doesn't know that she's ripping humans apart. Let her be. I don't think we should be worrying about that. I gotta get a gift from the gift shop. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the way out there. No? Why do you want to go through here so bad? Ooh, a pool. Just a pool. Freddy's pool. I don't know, something about this just doesn't seem hygienic. Doesn't seem that well ventilated. Where is that pool water coming from? We're underground. Hey! Just like here. local sewer system. Oh, she just wants to play, look. She's so cute. Are you gonna jump in the pool? She just head dived into the pool! Imagine how much it costs to make her and her downfall is a pool of water. Woo! Okay. Interesting. Does that end there? I'm guessing maybe that one ends there. I'm not sure. Maybe there's more to the story. But that was freaking cool. I enjoyed that. So that one was just here. The rest just seemed to be like unrelated. Like Knock Knock seemed to be like related to the series and that was the, late, the latest upload. Uh, but the rest are kind of other stuff other short films stuff like that but we're going to move on to the last video now guys five nights at the back rooms in five nights at the back rooms a night guard shows up to his scheduled shift at 12 a.m but he soon finds himself in a weird realm unlike anything he's ever seen here we go guys so this is the last video if you do enjoy be sure to go check out wade productions down below like all the video subscribe all that good stuff if you enjoy my content like i said consider liking and subscribing as this is the majority of my content without further ado let's play the last video it's a clashing of worlds right here guys back rooms was what kind of propelled my well what just okay 
it, it propelled my channel and like FNAF obviously as well. So it's nice to see these two kind of meet. It's, it's been done before. Oof, that wouldn't be good. Two fish. That droning would send you absolutely insane, wouldn't it? Oh, like, can we get an electrician down here, please, and just turn the voltage down of these lights? Because it is ridiculous. I don't know what the power bill for this place is, but um, it's not good. Oh, wait, okay. So it's like random assets. That's what the back rooms is, right? Just random assets, assets of Earth falling through into this little world. It's like the unused DLC. What does the writing on the wall say? Nice. Well, there's Foxy's little showroom. There's Freddy over there. Oof, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? He's always watching. Don't talk. Go down. Oh my goodness. Laugh? You said don't talk. I guess laughing's all right there. Look at that freaking, look at the, that expression on his face. That's disturbing as hell. How in the how did that thing move so quickly? Oh, just jump mate, go on. And again, I'll be super terrified. <laughs> Right, well, certain death or certain death. I guess jumping would probably be a quicker death, but I would worry that I'd be jumping on spikes feet first. Oh, jeez, I just always imagine the worst. Okay, well, he's just into the void. He's dead, basically. There we go, guys. That was the end of the videos that we're going to be watching from Wade Productions. Fantastic creator, and as I said, super underrated. Deserves a lot more attention. They put a lot of effort into their videos. I'm hoping that maybe me reacting to these will bring a little bit more attention to them. That's what I always hope for with stuff like this. I don't want to just take, I want to give back, you know? So Wade, I don't know what you're doing with your time. I don't know what you're doing. Hopefully you went into some kind of media business or like a VFX business, a job, because you know, anyone would be very lucky to have you. Very young as well, guys. So when these, when this was made, uh, well, two years ago, I believe Wade was 18 years old. So they're 20, 21 now. I kind of wish I got into all that properly at a young age, because once you get to the my age, my big old ancient age, you've got a lot of skills that you can put into different things. So keep up the amazing work, Wade. And to anyone thinking of getting into VFX and stuff, let this be your motivation because, you know, stuff, people like Kane, Wade, a load of others that I, if I keep mentioning, I'll, I'll miss someone out. But there's a lot of people out there that show you what is capable if you keep at it and keep going. But yeah, there we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, rate and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.